Wow. Hello Jeff, hello Officer Greg, hello to Fleda Mauser. My name is Shimon Berman and today I'd like to show you my new shotgun slug, which is this one here. As you can see it's completely hollow. It's made out of 100% brass with a rubber coating. So let's see what you guys can do with it. These shotgun slugs were originally designed to hold a live 9mm round in them. However, because of safety and probably a lot of legal reasons, we decided not to do this. But I don't want to disappoint anyone, and we did figure out a way of setting these off outside the barrel of a gun to show you what happens when they do go off. There is enough space inside this to hold even a 45 ACP round, and also a 760 by 39 I got both of them to fit in there, but we're going to be using 9mm. You'll notice that I removed some of the rubber coating on this, that was just for clearance issues, for my own peace of mind and also for safety issues, not just for me but also for the shooter. Now these are quite heavy as far as shotgun rounds go, even empty it weighs over 45 grams and you throw a round in there and the thing is over 58 grams. The way this is supposed to work is you shoot it out of your gun, it impacts a target and blows up. However. There's a pretty good chance these may tumble through the air and if they hit backwards, they could send the bullet right back at the shooter. Now, the other possibility is we could actually have a chain reaction occur inside the barrel. In this scenario, nothing catastrophic happens, but we've also seen in the past what happens when rounds go off in a chain reaction. Things happen very fast, very violently, and nothing good happens. So in a worst case scenario, I envision this would happen. But don't worry, we will set these off outside the barrel and it will be very cool. But I think you will also be very impressed with these rounds without a round in them. The Blitzen shoots in round! Don't you trust them? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm a little nervous with these, so uh, whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. Round one. Whoa, baby. Round one. Now, I wasn't kidding when I said there was a chance these might tumble and fly backwards. This one was almost flying completely backwards when it impacted. Okay, ballistic magazines. Whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. With over one and a half ounces of mass and hitting sideways, this thing would ruin your day. There it is. There you found it? Yeah. There we go. All right. It oh. broke, broke up into pieces here. Oh my god. It worked like the uh, the RIP. <laughs> yeah. Ripper on steroids. That's a lot of metal there. Geheimschutzen! Okay, I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Yikes! Yikes! Even though these things were flying sideways, somehow the force of impact still caused the six big pedals to, to break off, just like that RIP slug, only much bigger. And in all honesty, these things were more accurate, too. Alright, here we go. Wow! <laughs> this vaporized that thing. <laughs> these aren't bad at all. Alright, here we go. 
Wow. Now, I was expecting these to be a disappointment, but you could tell by my voice that I was very surprised at the performance of these things. Lots of hydrostatic shock on that thing. A lot of it to rip it open that far. And then what What did you want me to, what, to show people? Right here. <laughs> it disintegrated that. Yeah, it... it <clears throat> uh, piece of the brass is stuck in there. It's stuck. It's in there good. Oh, my poor, my wife's going to be so mad I messed up her garage sale table. Okay, we got the goat target. It should deflect straight down. Okay, whenever you're, you're ready. Keep an eye on that bee. This is definitely uh, a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sorry about that, Mr. B. Alright. That was might have been me, but that was I was aiming for here. A little high left. Of course that thing's keyholing again. You see the early, see the I don't know where all the pieces went. Whole imprint. Saw it bounce off. Okay. A little spot over there in the dirt about didn't, five feet away. Didn't even come close to bouncing back yeah. at us because it's on a good angle. Didn't even mess up the paint. Yeah. Okay, giant block of wood. I'm ready. There we go. <laughs> there it is. That one came back. <laughs> that one came bouncing back came a little back bit. At us. That's exactly how it hit, though. Huh. See the rib here is the rib there, so yeah. it hit just like that. It was like a hitting a baseball bat came flying right back at us. <laughs> we'll try that, was, that at home, kids. That was exciting. Yeah. Not very fast. It went came back about ten feet. Now if you can hit that little gourd, I'll be impressed. Okay, I'm ready. He skinned it. I scared it. That's some high speed vegetable peeling right there. Fruit or melon, whatever that thing is. Okay, this is where it gets hinky. So you're going to shoot a wax slug at that little tiny target down there. One of those uh, ectoplasm. Isn't that cool? Shell. That's when you well load it up. We'll see if we can hit it. I got a bunch of those wax slugs that we can. Uh, even if you miss, we'll get it one of the one way or the other. <laughs> Will it go off if we would have shot them like that? That's what we want to find out. Okay, whenever you're ready. You hit it first time. First time. Yeah, I had him this side towards this side you. For, towards us? Yeah, that this one looks That's what damaged. we found. This one's got scant. Ah. It looks like two of them might have popped. Hopefully, Ooh. we'll see on high speed. Yeah, it kind of blasted that off. I saw a big puff of dark smoke, and so, yeah. See, that's, that's what I was worried about going on, if we loaded these into a shell like that, into the gun, the inertia could have set those things off and that really made me nervous. Yeah, that, but I wanted, I wanted to not, you know, I wanted to give them at least this. You know, that nine's just floating in there. Yeah, it's kind of loose, a little bit loose. I didn't make them real tight so they would have a little bit of play. Yeah. 
that'd be scary to run through the barrel. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd run out of uh, people wanting to shoot with me if I started <laughs> doing dangerous stuff like that. <laughs> All out of monkeys. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully that'll that'll be satisfying enough, you know. Despite what a lot of people think, wax slugs are actually pretty accurate for what they are. The slug managed to hit the two top slugs and set them both off. You can see a lot of recognizable parts in there, bullets, steel balls, and of course the brass fragments from those two uh, slugs that actually exploded. He also included a bulletproof Stretch Armstrong for us to shoot, which is awful nice. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Hang on, Stretch, here it comes. Holy crap! Oh, you blew him away. Look, you cut him in half. <laughs> oh I think it's going to take more than a Band-Aid to fix him. Yeah, he's got this... Uh... I don't know what you want to call split personality. <laughs> yeah, now you know what's inside a Stretch Armstrong. So the slug, I, it looked like it, it hit like sideways. So, dang it. Kind of, what do they call it, bifurcated him? <laughs> it truncated him. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A very impressive round. Even though it tumbled through the air, the results were breathtaking. I want to thank Shyman for sending these and also for his patience. It took me about five months before I got to film these. And I apologize for the delay. And of course, I want to thank our generous patrons, our Patreon supporters, who have adopted this channel because they enjoy watching what we do. You guys are a big help, especially in these times when the ad revenue is being continually choked from, from all video creators. We invite you to support us, and if you don't want to, consider supporting other channels that you like. I'm sure they could use your help too. Thanks again for everyone who, who watched this. We'll see you next time.